What's going on guys? So we are out here at the Forest River Dealer Show in Elkhart, Indiana, and we're gonna take a look at this brand new floor plan from the folks over at Columbus. This is a river ranch. This thing is super cool. You've seen them on my channel before. Totally elevated floor plan above the storage area. We're gonna take a closer look at this. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So it's gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 17,999 pounds, cargo capacity of 3,492 pounds, dry weight of 14,448 pounds, and it's almost 43 feet long, 42 feet seven inches. Definitely dually towable. Wouldn't put this behind a single rear wheel truck. You have the Kurt Flex Air pin box up front right here. Add air to it, basically helps dampen some of the, uh, the road shock between the truck and the trailer, trailer and the truck. I'm gonna get away from them so uh, you're not hearing them in the video. You have all of this underbelly storage. This is kind of the, the key points of the River Ranch. Really, really dense baggage doors. Check out the hinge system as well. It's a totally different type of hinge system you normally see. Slam latches on everything. A fully composite floor. So this is composite, and this is also composite up here, which is really nice. There's no wood in the floor at all. It's a huge perk, I absolutely love that. Coming back here, you see the storage back here as well. Huge, huge amount of storage. And it has a huge storage capacity, which is also really important because if you don't have that, then what's the point of having all the storage, right? Big slide out drawer right here. So that opens up the back hatch, which you currently can't do because we have a fifth wheel right behind us. But normally you'd pop that open, that would slide out. Great way to load up your RV with supplies and things that you wanna take before you actually take off. That way, when you get to where you're going, it's so easy to unload off the tray. Great place to put mountain bikes, things like that as well. You can see there's a power cord reel way over there. So the power cord reels for your 50 amp cable. Very nice. This has the slim rack system here on the side as well for your slide out. And this is gonna be the new 2024 393RL. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the numbers here. 75 gallon freshwater tank, 78 gallon gray, 39 black. Total height, 13 feet, six inches. So it's as tall as any of your other full profile fifth wheels. Hitch weight when dry, 2,425 pounds, which means when fully loaded, depending on where you put that weight, of course, you know, it could probably upwards of about 3,500 pounds. So you definitely wanna have a truck that has the appropriate payload capacity for that. Tires out here, you have the Cooper Works H-rated tires on a 17.5 inch wheel. And then this also has what appears to be like a slipper spring style suspension to it. That's new, that is different. I typically uh, don't see that on any type of travel trailer or fifth wheel. It also has anti-lock brake from Lippert, which is really nice. Very cool, Asdell Construction. We're gonna take a look at the construction materials when we hop inside here. And this is the 393 RL again. All right, so I got my compadres from E-Trailer all lounging around and uh, enjoying this river ranch. So before we dive into the floor plan, let's talk about the materials. So you have your floor material or the base material, which is this honeycomb composite. And then you have another composite sandwiched material for the floor. And then your sidewalls are dual Asdell. So you have the thicker Asdell with your fiberglass for the outside. And then the inner wall is also Asdell with the foam block insulation in between. Really cool. That's a really good building material usage. And, you know, we've talked about what you see and what you don't see. And I guess he's kind of showing that on the video right now. But what you typically don't see is what your floor is made out of when you go to an RV dealership. And this is one area, unless they show you, you may never know that you have a fully composite floor system. So that is really, really nice. Okay, so we're gonna quickly walk through this floor plan. This is a kind of a traditional rear living room floor plan. So you have your theater seating here, you have your sofa here, but the sofa is kind of unique because let's say my friend here, AJ wants to sit on this side and somebody wants to sleep on this side. You actually have the ability, by removing a pillow, to pull this one out and turn this into a bed or a lounge while he can still sit on the other side of the bed or the other side of the sofa, which is actually a pretty dang convenient feature because I know when my wife is watching something that I don't want to watch, it's a great time to take a nap. And the best time to take a nap is typically, you know, or the best place to take a nap is wherever you're at. So yeah, she'll be watching something. Um, and, you know, sometimes I claim I don't like them, but I do like the shows, but I'll fall asleep after we watch it 20 times. And... I can pull out one of the, the beds and I can lounge and fall asleep on the bed while she's watching her favorite movie, which is really cool. 
Um, especially if you have guests over with small kids, because maybe, you know, they have like an eight or a 10 year old that's with them and they, the child can go to sleep while you're still sitting next to them, working on your computer, whatever you need to do. Very cool. They have nice solid surface core and countertop here. I love these super cool multifunction sinks. This is interesting. You got these slide outs right here. You got a cutting board. You got another tray beneath it. Um, it's kind of a double edged sword because if you're just a traditional like sink user, then you got to find a place to put all that stuff when you're not using it, which is interesting. But the option's still there. This is really nice. Nice hardwood here. I like the underglowing uh, ambient lighting. Then you have this really cool kind of faux fireplace material. It's like a plastic, but it looks really nice. I mean, I wouldn't want real brick in my RV, so it's actually nice to have something that's lighter weight and isn't going to crumble every time you go over a bump. You have your TV mounted here. There's possibly storage behind it, but... I don't think there is. Okay, you got storage above here. Don't know if they're soft closing. They are soft closing. Soft closing down here, it is. Really nice. I love it when they put a divider in. So many of them don't, they just give you a tray, but this is really nice. Soft closing drawers, like that as well. Insignia, residential stove oven combo. I always like to see that. A Lot of room on each side, and boy, do they give you a lot of power options with wireless charging next to your stove. You get tire pressure monitoring with it as well. Don't you guys carry the TST system as well for tire pressure monitoring? Yeah, we're a tire miner. It's the TST okay. system, yeah. Yeah, you guys, I think you have both. Mm -hmm. So then you have your residential microwave. All right, here you got some more pantry storage, soft closing. It's always funny when I'm in an RV and I go to slam a drawer thinking it's soft closing and it just slams. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. <laughs> We, me and my fiance just moved into our house, and first thing Jake does is he comes over and he goes, and they have soft closed everything in their house, and he slams something shut, and it's boom! I'm talking to his wife in the kitchen, I'm like, Jake, what are you doing? We we just got this, like, we're still unpacking. Yeah, yeah don't this break is, my house yet. I know yeah. he's gigantor. He had to make a move, yeah. <laughs> that was a soft close for him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so AC units, three AC units. Uh, the cool thing is, is this middle one, or what they call the main unit, actually has a heat pump on it, so... Huge cost difference between that versus not having it. So that's kind of cool. Something, again, a dealership may not tell you because they may not know. But, yeah, this one has a heat pump on it. Really nice seating in here. A little bit more traditional than I might typically like. I guess I kind of lean more towards contemporary when it comes to the dinette area. But they look comfortable. Were they comfortable? Anybody sat in them yet? Uh, no. That's the bag. Yeah, yeah, the bag says it's pretty comfortable. <laughs> All right. So everything looks good here. You got your big French door refrigerator. No brand on it. That's kind of interesting. But it is twin cooling plus, and it does feel cool. Oh, this is a Samsung. Why? Because it's got this little drink station here. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah. So the best part about that, I felt like the best part of waking up is Folgers. Anyways, so from a coffee perspective, this is cool because if you have a Keurig and you run out of water, then you're grabbing water from your sink to try to fill the thing back up. But when you have this, because this is automatically going to fill up, with filtered water yeah. you know in the morning if your keurig is running out of water just grab this fill it back up throw this back in it's going to refill with filtered water so i really like that, that. Was cold too that's awesome yep mcd day night roller shades so daytime shade nighttime shade because daytime shades are see-through when you have lights on inside your rv at night okay stepping back here into this absolutely enormous bathroom this bathroom is huge. The opening almost feels like it's wheelchair accessible. It's that big. It's just, what do you say that is? Probably four and a half feet yeah, worth of opening? Yeah, four and a half feet, yeah. Huge. Massive. Sliding door. It has this double sliding door deal. Full-size residential shower. That's one of the things that the folks at, at Columbus have done for a long time. They actually give you a full-size residential shower pan. Huge shower. Coming around this side, single vanity, but it's an undermount Corian, so it's kind of integrated in. Really nice material. You got a lot of medicine cabinets up here as well. A lot of storage here for towels and toiletry. You got your blackout shade if you want to cover up the window. This is cool. I also like this little ledge. I can see my wife using this with that door closed to kind of put makeup on and things like that as well. So that's really nice. And then you have this huge slide out. So this slide out starts from here and it goes all the way to the end of the bedroom, even through the hallway space here, which means when this slide is in, you're not gonna access your bedroom. So just keep that in mind. A lot of wardrobe space, tons of wardrobe space. I mean, it's everywhere. You can have socks forever in this thing. 
Okay, so we have a sliding door over here. What do you think so far? That's pretty cool. I mean, I got a favorite part, but I'll save it for the rating at the end. Okay. All right, so checking out this space right here, king size bed. They've put a lot more room around the bed. You definitely have plenty of room right here. Mm -hmm. And fireplace, drawers, all of this looks absolutely beautiful. This is a great, great area to retire at the end of the day. Really nice. Plus, they give you your power right here as well. This is your closet space as well as prepped for washer and dryer. So you can put a stackable unit in here. And in your closet, which I don't think I need to open the whole thing up. Lots of shelving in it. You have a nice clothes rack up there. You have a plug in here if you want to charge a vacuum. Really nice. Plus some storage above. I'm digging it. It's a cool floor plan. And then I believe they mentioned all the storage under the bed. Which, yeah, you get a ton of storage under there. And there are your two dinette tables. Also, and again, really love the panoramic fireplace and the storage right here. Okay, so let's talk shop. River Ranch, right? Pros. Once you walk up the flight of stairs to get inside, mm -hmm. you don't have any more stairs to walk up and down. All right, that's nice. I feel like if I accidentally am tired and I fall down here, though, I have... Uh -huh. A pretty pretty far uh, far fall but um, I like it I love the p fact that they're putting a heat pump in the AC here uh, I like the amount of storage you get underneath it though I don't think I would ever fill that up no, okay. um, it's almost too much. it is it it's is it's just a temptation to do something bad yeah well and, and everyone knows when you move how much stuff you pack up mm -hmm. and I can imagine stuff just accumulating down there um, honestly, I could even imagine some people that keep these near their houses storing like overflow stuff from their garage mm -hmm. just because it's there, mm -hmm. right? So that's that would actually be a concern of mine. Um, or if you get in trouble, your wife has a new place to send you to sleep. So that is true. That is true, that. and it has a slide out tray on the back too, so that might actually be kind of like a patio. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if you're sleeping. All right, so let's start with AJ. So first of all, whenever we're done with all this, we're going to come to a consensus and vote on if this should get a best in show sticker. Given 20 of them out for all of open house across all of Elkhart. So not just Forest River, but everywhere else. Um, and not like we're ever going to actually see all the RVs, but the ones we walk through at least. Mm -hmm. So AJ, thoughts? Well, you made some of the points already. I liked how you had all the steps up front and there was no more inside. It was something that was kind of weird as I was walking through. Every time I passed through a threshold, you're used to steps. You're used to looking for them and you didn't. It's just all flat. So I did like that part. I do like the storage, but like I said, too much storage. No way I'm going to fill that up. So I still kind of like the design. So the other one's a little bit above this one. So I'm going to put this one at a seven. Seven. That's actually higher than I thought you were going to say with everything you just said. Right. Okay. So Tyler. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat with AJ. This one's going to be a little lower on my list, but I'm going to tell you why. Um, I'm going to give it a six. And actually from here, from here over is a five. There's nothing that really screens me in here um, on the floor plan that I, floor plan that I love. Um, it is nice. It's a nice setup. It's nice material, you can tell. But coming this way, everything this way, this is a seven or an eight for me. This bathroom is huge. It's massive. It's a, it's a must for me. Um, and I really like the bedroom as well. I think the bedroom's really spacious. It looks really nice, comfortable, great place to lay out on a Sunday after a long hot Saturday. Um, so yeah. I'd say a six or a seven, somewhere in that range, but definitely the backside's more of my favorite. Okay. And let's go get... All right. So, Tom. Uh-oh. Getting all up here. Getting way up here. <laughs> all right. Um, the thing that I like the most about this is probably the Go Power Solar Setup. It has a special place in my heart after filming a video of Jake installing it on a Dodge Transit van. And okay. The the Did they tell you how much solar's on here? I don't know if I saw that. I have it all pulled up over here on the monitor. I don't know how many panels are up there, exactly which kit it is, but it's nice. And especially with the three air conditioners on here, just kind of keeping everything topped off throughout your trip. It's going to be helpful. Well, that's kind of what I wonder what the capacity on this unit is. Like, do they say over here? Oh, right here. 260 watt solar panel, 30 amp controller, 1800 watt inverter. So it doesn't have a lot of solar. It has a reasonable amount but you can get some of these smaller trailers that have more solar actually that revolve out there looks like it has a ton of solar on top of it and so does yeah just that one right there it looks like it has like five panels on it being so high up because of the stairs and the storage we do have a nice vantage point yeah you can see the roofs of all the other rvs out here so if you want to sneer down at your campsite neighbors yeah. but this one's probably going to be like a four and a half for me 
the bathroom, mm -hmm. like Tyler said, that's like the big thing for me. Yeah. The bathroom's just so nice. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of agree with you on all your points. Um, bathroom's the winner in this one. The back here, it's not bad at all. It's beautiful, but it doesn't, it doesn't stand out as something overly extraordinarily nicer than, than what else we've seen. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give it a five. Not and only because again it just it's not nothing's wrong with it. It's a beautiful interior, mm -hmm. but it's too much easy. storage. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> too much storage. I'm never going to use all of that. Um, I like the tray and the access to the back, but some of the stuff up front I don't really need. The stairways walking up and downstairs that may be a big deal to some folks. It's not a big deal to me. It's not a huge deal. I can walk down some stairs. It's not like I'm doing it like every minute. So yeah, I'd give it I'd give it a five. So. Uh, I'm guessing no on the best in class sticker, best of show. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. If you really, uh, I feel like you really need that space underneath. If you're going to utilize this, it's a very nice setup and rig. But like to your point, if you're not going to use it, I can't trust myself. Yeah. Yeah. I got too much time. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> it's being storage, yeah. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, we're going to check in another unit, guys. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, everyone, and we'll talk to you again real soon. <laughs>